It's all about having an array of everything. So there's different elements. Um, there's your publishing, there's ASCAP, BMI, your uh, performance rights organization. Um, there's publishing. Uh, I use a company called Song Trust. Um, they collect my publishing revenue from overseas. So like this song charting in Indonesia or Switzerland, I'm getting money through these publishing admins. So you can check them out at songtrust.com. How many of you are registered for PRO right now, ASCAP BMI? I should see every hand in the air right now. That's so important. If you want to make money as a musician or producer, when you leave this room, if you don't have an ASCAP or BMI, I recommend doing it immediately. That's how you collect performance rights royalties um, when your stuff is played publicly. And as you get, and if you're wanting your career to blossom, you definitely want to do the things that you can to, to, um, to expand so that you're already ready when you hit that point of growth. So ASCAP BMI is really important. Look into a company like Song Trust, really powerful. And getting back to your question, um, it's multiple streams. It comes from all sides. Um, when I started my drum kit, Drums That Knock, um, it's basically a drum kit for producers to get their sounds to the next level. So the sounds, I, I wanted to put out sounds that hit real hard so it cuts through the mix. Um, when I put that out, I released it on my own site, drumsatknock.com. As it started expanding, that's when I partnered with Splice and, um, and it did really well on Splice. So that's, that's a source of revenue for me, selling my, my sounds. Um, streaming my music is a source of revenue. Uh, publishing, um, when I do events, that's a source of revenue. Um, so basically, when you first start out, it's gonna be pennies, right? You're gonna get your music on Spotify, you'll have a couple hundred plays, you know, and you'll get pennies. Then those pennies turn into dollars. Those dollars turn into a hundred, hundreds of dollars. Those hundreds turn into thousands. And there's no limit because as you build your brand, all these, if you're, if you're doing it correctly and you're, you're um, giving attention to all your sources of income, everything is expanding. So say right now you're not, you know, you're not generating much income because you're just starting out. You could have a hit song. All of a sudden that's generating publishing. That's generating public interest. So now you're doing more events. That's generating, um, you're on, you know, the charts. That's generating more attention. You're in demand to release sound kits. That's generating income. So it's a ripple effect. That, and that's only one way it can happen. That's what's great about music. Nowadays in the digital age, there's so many opportunities to get your stuff out there that there's really no excuse not to get out there as much co good content as you can. Really the bottleneck is how how good, I, it's really about being good. It's about honing in on your craft, getting better, um, learning about the business, learning about the legal side. I was just telling someone uh, here that back in 2015, I got a contract and I was gonna, I, you know, I was thinking, should I sign it? Luckily I said, no, I'm gonna have an attorney look it over. And so that attorney actually came to my studio and, and talked to me about it. And he said that you're about to sign a 360 deal. How many of you guys know what a 360 deal is? Okay, it's really bad. If, for those of you who don't know, a 360 deal means they are taking income from every angle you turn. And that's, that's actually a norm in a certain component of the music industry, a 360 deal. So what that did, that conversation with him opened my eyes and I took a music law class the next year and I met my current lawyer through that class. So I recommend um, you guys learn as much about the business as you can. Um, that's something that, that's a path I went down because I, I realized that I want to have ownership over my career, ownership of my copyrights. If I had signed that deal, they would collect a percentage of all of my tracks in my catalog and that wouldn't be good. So, don't think that it's, um, 
it's a good idea to just rush and sign something because, oh, now I, I'm a signed artist. Everything I've done for the last couple of years has been independently released. So I, I recommend at least entertaining that as a possibility. 